Hey there, fellow maintenance men, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to State of Decay 2 Red Cross, episode 28, Missing a Few Bolts. I hate this uh, debris. All this debris looks like plague samples from a distance. It's tricked me enough that like I, I know to ignore it. As long as that plague heart is nearby, this place can't really be secured. Cheers. That was the last of them. Okay, time to go to work. Whoa. I hear a feral close. Finish this. Feral doesn't exactly know where I am because he's like running them all over. That's not okay. Hope nothing hurt that. Whoa! Now it knows where I am. Come on, Feral. You're wasting precious time, dude. Fire in the hole. This girl's burning my scent block timer. Hope nothing heard that. I think it ended up, yeah, it ended up dying from the burns because I did enough damage with the uh, handgun or the uh, assault rifle. It's oh, done. there's another feral. I'm using up all of my, um, all of my uh, throwables though. Zeds around here. Woo! Oh, you got me. No, don't keep hitting me. Don't do that. Nope, stop it. That door. Yes! I stopped it from throwing me. I'm gonna still try to do the two for one. Even though I'm, like, severely plagued, because, uh, I'm stupid. I also have Cure on me, but primarily because I'm stupid. And I'm also out of throwables. It's a bad idea, but bad ideas are fun ideas. Also a juggernaut. Uh, that's not how to go through a window. What the hell? That was weird. I was trying to jump through the window and I just like went flat into it. Offer, thank you for the resub. Hitting a full year too. Just a little more. 
Bye, Juggy. Bye, Juggy. That's the way to kill this thing. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> that was such a bad idea. My plague, my plague meter is like unreadable right now. It's like you are a plague zombie, and if if they sneeze on you, you're dead. Also, having been cornered by two ferals in that closet. Not so fun, but all's well that ends well. Uh-oh. Blutter, don't get any ideas. Thank you for the gifted subs, Offer. Thank you so very much. Cheers, dude. Oh, wait! The warehouse gave me meds? <laughs> all of that work, and I thought I was getting build materials for the uh, curveball. But nope, meds. That's done. What's next? What's next is you go to the hospital, girl, because you are just a mess. But like, a, a hot mess. That's a no-go. Coltrane still needs rest, so... heat. Could I withdraw and deposit rucksacks for the curveball? No. I already tried that. Gotta get checked out. I'm feeling really off. Alright. I want to uh loot. I wanna loot the hearts that are to be looted with like the bare minimum of gear possible. Why can't I fix this? What is... Why can I not repair my gun? <laughs> Alright, fine, whatever. It's not repaired. I don't care. Out of parts? No, I have 119 parts. It only costs 8 to repair it. It just, like, won't let me fix it up. Whatever. Isn't that part of the curveball? Oh, you know what? You're probably right. Facility actions are less efficient? No. Higher background noise and community has lower morale? Depositing new material? No, I don't think it's part of the curveball, but... Whatever. I'm, I want to resolve the curveball anyway. So, this heart has fuel, this heart has meds, and this heart has nothing? I guess I'll just have to loot the area then. But this whole town has just about been cleaned of love, uh, plague. Maybe it's like an unwritten part of the curveball. And if I read the notes, I would know better. Learning this area for um, for materials is going to be a lot easier now that there's not uh, active hearts in the area. Nobody else heard that, right? Right. Ooh, two large weapons and materials. Again. They uh, updated or changed the way stuff. that noises work in the game. Where noises like that won't spawn zombies, they will just um, draw zombies in that already exist. That way the noise events can't stack. And um, let's just say I just took advantage of that a little bit by just making a whole... Oh, you know what? All of my weapons need eight parts to repair. So I think the, the handgun doesn't need repair. It's just a bug that I need to like... Exit and, and and reload. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. 
it's definitely a bug. Brand new weapons that you loot shouldn't be damaged and require all the same amount of parts to repair. That doesn't make sense. Unless it's part of the curveball, which I really, really don't think it would be. Because that sounds unusual. But perhaps I'm wrong. Was I? We got a real problem no! The traps aren't holding. It's still broken. Yeah, maybe that's just part of the curveball. Uh, so we have one building material. Let's go get two more. Can someone aid us? We're being overwhelmed. The snack frackers are asking for help. Is this timed? Travel to the base and help them before they're overwhelmed. Yeah, this is probably kind of like a serious thing that I need to attend to. Uh, but I really want to get this this uh, curveball done with. And there's so many may contain materials in the area that I'm going to do this first. Sorry, frackers. You're, you're just you're going to have to wait. Oh, is my workshop damaged by the curveball? No. It's not in disrepair. Honestly, I should just probably That's read the notes and not keep guessing. So let's see. Curveball. Notes. Oh, no, it doesn't really say anything. So I'm going to be avoiding the um, Snack crack Cracker's base for a minute so I can resolve this curveball. But there's lots of building materials down by this other enclave. So I'm going to sell to the other enclave, like the generators and stuff that I don't need. Free up some space. But this, uh, this whole neighborhood, South Santa Maya or whatever it's called, much hey, nicer there's now danger. that there's not a Come bunch of hearts. In. Let's get down to business. Of course. There should be where I destroyed the um, the heart. There should also be building materials in there. Do I have to kill every zombie myself, people? Yes. Bingo. I'm tired of carrying this already. Let's turn this in. Oh, uh, I can't turn it in the power. Uh, let's turn it in at Sasser. Power, water, artillery, those outposts can't do rucksack deposits. Landmarks and level twos only. A uh, question. What to do next? Do you want me to go help the snack frackers with their urgent base overrun thing? Do you want me to kill the other active heart? There's only one more active heart on the map. Uh, do you want me to scavenge? Mm, it's up to you.
So I'm going over the material limit that I can store. Uh, I don't care. Because I have to. I can pull it out after we're done. And put it all in the ambulance's, uh... Uh, trunk. Or use it, upgrading a, a outpost. That would also be not unreasonable. Alright, missing a few bolts is done. Can I repair stuff? See, people, this is what I've been talking about. Okay, so it wasn't that it, nice it needed repair. It was that its maximum HP was decreased, I think. Because now my gun that was, like, partially broken is not broken. Um... Yeah, I think no, I am going to spend my building materials and influence upgrading to fuel outpost three. Uh, so that we don't burn building materials. And then the other thing I could do is um, turn some of the building materials into bolts. So I'm going to quickly install the bolt crafter and uh, try to make bolts with the building materials that are in stock right now before they get wasted. Uh, if you go over your your capacity, your storage capacity cap, you can end up just like wasting stuff. Shall I get to work? All right, heat, you, close combat, discipline, marathon, sharpshooter. Okay, so let's go try to help, uh, what's their names? I don't know how badly overrun they are, but probably should bring suppressed weapons so I don't turn the horde into a bigger horde. I'll take the crossbow. Uh, grenades are kind of loud. I'll take cure. And hmm, I wish I didn't get rid of the fuel filling machine because I would have made uh, Molotovs. Okay. Turns out I ain't quite dead yet. Surprise, surprise. And I'll just bring more ammo for the twenty-two. Another nice thing about the 22 is its ammo stacks up quite high because they're small bullets. You can hold a lot of them. Don't move a muscle. I'm on my way. There's no time to waste on this. Home isn't a place. It's people. These people. Well, thanks. Dog treats. Here you go, bud. Remember the bolt crafting? Oh, I know. It takes five minutes to install the bolt crafting tool set. Someone's been reported missing. Would you take a look around? Are those the last or what? Tear these fuckers up! That's why we stick together. It's fucking over. You take care, all right? I know you redeemed the Yoda cam. My face is doing a really confused expression right now. Turns out you just cannot trust a zombie. Go figure. Hey there, business partner. Bueno. So I helped them by showing up and doing nothing. Um, they're now allied? I guess? So... All I had to do was attend their defense, and that was it. Uh, what I will do is right, instead help way. the uh, nifty neighbors Thanks, man. Enclave. Because uh, you guys voted for me to do a mission, and I didn't really do a mission here. I, like, tried and failed. Because there was nothing needing doing. But on my way over to the Nifty Neighbors, I'll um, grab the stuff from the uh, the fire station. Oh hey, this 
This should be good. There's so many, so much heart loot left around now because oh, a Kodiak. That's a really nice gun. I'm gonna need a lighter load soon. Okay, rest easy. The infestations aren't a problem for now. <laughs> Maybe make bolts. I was planning on it. I'm going to Sasser to go make bolts and turn in the fuel ruck. Good parking. It's installed. Cool. We'll do light bolts. We got 45 light bolts, and now we are not over our materials capacity. But we will be soon, because it's 32 out of 35 going up one a day. Yeah, no, that's not a thing. So, uh, while the bolt crafting tool set is in, I guess I'll just make bolts again. More light bolts. And now, we're very low on parts, so I'm going to install the um, salvage furnace. The salvage furnace will take two and a half minutes to install, um, but we have so many weapons to salvage. So, uh, that will be awesome. And let's switch crossbows now that we have a ton of light bolts. Cause... Okay. So someone wants meds, and uh, but we'll help the nifty neighbors first. The damage weapons was the curveball after all, yeah. And saving and loading didn't fix it, because it was just a result. Just all weapons just were not max HP or whatever. Oh, that was the best landing I've had yet. It wasn't epic, like I didn't fly off the cliff, but at least it was efficient. Hey, what's up? Come on, make yourself at home. Cool. So they want me to go find Marsha. Hey, careful out there. We can't afford to lose you. I'm always careful. <laughs> And she is in a house up the road. Up the enclaves. Also, I think I missed a hydrate, so cheers. Sorry, goof. God, I wish this had a zoom. Oh god, that's a uh, a juggernaut? Uh or feral? Both. You in here? Oh, it's just a feral. Okay. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. My glad to see you. Dear God, I'm tired. Nope. Stop doing that. Come on, Pharaoh, are you coming to me? Come on, Farrell. Through the door. Do it. Oh, shoot. There's too many garbage around. 
Ow, that hurt. Ow, still hurt. Let me out of here. No resting. Can anyone hear me? I could really use some help out here. No, no, no! The armor's gone. Fuck! 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 You're okay, girl. Sorry, I was really inefficient because I brought small arms. After you. Return you to your base. What do you need? Let's make Can you deal. get up? Sure. Chaos yeah, Engine, thank you for the uh the resub. I'm a little worried that she's um she's not gonna move. Maybe if I hop in the car, it will prompt her to, like, come to me. Or something. Because usually what ends up happening is, like, when you're downed like that, you have to do, like, a saving throw. Or, lack of a better term, I'm going to call it a saving throw. And then you get back up. But I killed the feral. Oh, maybe this zombie will make her do a saving throw. Come on. Okay, or not. Marsha. What's up? You're on the ground, Marsha. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Come on, Marsha. Let's move. Something on your mind? Alright, let me um mercifully back over her a little bit to see if I can't nudge her around a little bit. Uh, okay. <laughs> well. So there's that. Alright, uh, let me try to drive to the base. Red Talon, this is Seth. And see if she will just be there when I get there. Secure, but you gotta train your men to scout an area before they take their Sunday stroll. Oh, she's moving now. Okay, so she got unstuck. But she's not moving towards me. Now she is. So if you're wondering, the way it works is when NPCs are, like, out of your sight, they will move unobstructed by zombies. But then as soon as they get within vision, they can get fought. Because it's not, like, simulated anymore. So in this case, what I want to do is I want to move towards her to pick her up in the car so she can't get more dead. Good. So driving away from her, like, was the solution. And now I have a lovely hood over him and his oh, oh boy. Safe and sound. I owe you for that. Sorry to throw you out of the car, but trust me. You want it out. Go home, Marsha. Oh, three bloaters up the road? Okay, well I can't drive that way. And a feral. Come on, Feral. Okay, so that's good. Uh, there is survivor activity, which intrigues me more than um, bringing meds to my neighbors. Hey, Dave. Thank you for the resub. Uh, but I'm going to need to get off of, uh, of, of heat here because she is uh, very nearly dead. So I'm going to quickly drive over to the cell phone tower, switch out who I'm using. 
and then go help the survivor, praying that they become a recruit, inching us ever closer to our needed eight in order to move into the barricaded strip mall, which is the uh, one of the two ultimate goals of the series. The other one, of course, winning as a uh, as a sheriff. I'm glad my day job isn't uh, being a rally driver, because, uh, oof. <laughs> Not happening. Coltrane, you're coming back out. The new guy goes to help out the potentially new new guy. Well, that thing broke quick. Um, now that I'm here staring at my inventory, um, it's worth noting when you have the, uh, the furnace installed, it has a fuel upkeep, so it's really important to just break down what you intend to break down and then uninstall. Well, it's not important, but you'll waste fuel otherwise. So let's go ahead and um, queue up the salvaging weapon remains, which for yeah, which I'm getting 75 instead of 50 because of the bonus and then like salvaging just as much as I can because um, I'm getting 25% or 50% more or something. I, I forget what the bonus is, but it's it's sizable. So that we can top up our parts. And Silver Knight, thank you for the gifted subs. You all are way too kind. Yeah, we're not going to need parts for a long time after this. Better the mower blade or the yeah the cutting is better okay so now we have 900 parts thank you salvage furnace uh, I could break down the pipe bombs and frag grenades but I don't think they yield quite as high oh here is the competition gun that I wanted I'll repair that with the oodles of parts that I had um unload my handgun and switch guns I had the gun I really liked. I just didn't realize it. So this is the one I really... Oh, nope, that's not what I meant to do. This is the one I really like, because it's uh, a twenty-two that can zoom, which makes far shots much easier to hit. Uh, this one only has a magazine of 10, but, like, whatever. I th maybe it only goes up to 10, and I'm misremembering. That's entirely possible. Um, cool. Uh, well, while the thing is installed... I'm going to also salvage some of the guns I don't want. Hey, Dave, thanks for the gifted subs, too. Man, uh, quite the hype train. Cheers. I appreciate it. So this is a 9 mil, also 9 mil, and the better 9 mil. So I'm, I'm really, for small arms, I really only keep one of every caliber. So I have... I'm going to get rid of this one. I have my 22. This is my 9 mil. This is my 9 mil, but goes full auto, so that's kind of special. Um, these GPL customs, I will keep none of them, because I think the Spec Ops is better. So let's unload all three of these. And salvage. And I think in salvaging this, I'll get the break automatically. Yeah. Okay. 
357. I've got two 357s. I'll keep the nicer one. Viper versus Hunter Viper. Definitely the Hunter Viper because it has a scope. 44 Magnum. Okay, so that's unique. Bolt. These are all 556 five, Bolties, which don't hold a candle to the full auto ones, so these are all getting shredded. I mean, they're high power, but I'd rather have something that goes full auto. Shoot! Survivor activity timed out. Man. That's... Mm, my bad, dude. That sucks. This thing packs a punch, so it's worth keeping. Uh, I didn't realize I had an Arctic Warrior. That's nice. And this is the only thing that fires classic bolts. Ah, uh, I'm pissed about the... Well, the best I could do is bring the meds over, but that survivor activity would have been really nice to do. I thought I had more time, but it just goes to show, like, how little time the game gives you to do those. Do them or lose them. Okay, so we have a, a pretty well mm, curated arsenal, let's call it. Uh, same with the melee weapons. Okay, cool. Come on, I'm, I'm literally coming. All right, uh, let me tell you that I'm coming. Let's go. Let's go do it before I run out. And now that the salvage furnace has melted on the parts, we can switch that mod out, because that mod has a fuel upkeep for instead the filling machine. Hey kiddos, I'm back. Hey sexy. Excuse me? What? Oh, uh, they wanted medicine. Well, heat's in heat. Heat lights Coltrane. That <laughs> confirmed. That barrel moves damn fast. As much as I would like to hang out around here and kill that feral so it's not near home, I don't want this to time out too. I've already let one time out. And that could have been a, the newest recruit. Another thing that I have not done in a long time is um radio calls earned Damn. by enclaves seconds in plague territory and i'm already sweating so i'll do that here too oh speaking of heat zombies have high temperature hey thank you hope to see you soon oh and they have food and fuel That's weird. The refuel Miragra showed that if I put the fuel can in, it wouldn't refuel, so I stopped and redid it. Okay, uh, let's call in the... Supply drop for combat? I need a supply drop ASAP. We don't forget our friends. We'll get whatever you need. And of course it landed, like, in the nasty area. Well, that's fine. And if you're wondering, this supply drop was earned by allying myself with an enclave. I don't use the freebies, but I do use the earned ones. Um, this supply drop is like the most guarded supply drop ever. I should have driven somewhere a little bit more safe, because what the hell.
High temperature zombies. Uh, they're more infectious, but they drop more samples. So this was really good clearing hearts that were under this effect. And there's an active heart in this effect. Because if I recall correctly, I've had this before and I... Uh, I don't really need to trade with spread parts. So uh, I, I killed two hearts under this effect before and ended up with a lot more plague samples from the hearts. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take advantage of this um, curveball and destroy the hearts under the uh, high temp. And it will be a good way to add a uh, hero bonus to Coltrane, too. Oh, this is a level one. Uh, I guess I'm not depositing this here. Okay. I am going to do... Coltrane is like... I'm going to uh, uh, try to speed run this, if you will. So, scent block, plague cure, all the C4 charges. So, I'm planning on, like, blowing up two hearts and going for a third. A hat trick heart run. Um, The filling machine is in? Yes. Good, 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 good. So, we'll get fuel bombs. Because that's what I was really hoping to do. Get a bunch of fuel bombs so I can fuel bomb my way through all these hearts. Uh, I don't even... I think the only weapon I'll bring is maybe just a Kodiak. The Kodiak accepts a metals attachment, but not the break. Uh, I'll, I'll bring the sighted instead. Thank you for tuning in to State of Decay 2 Red Cross, which originally streamed live on Twitch October 30th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Stay alive out there, fellow survivors. 